Good evening. On behalf of the Hines family, I would like to share our gratitude for your support of the 75th Anniversary Gala honoring the Gerald D. Hines College of Architecture and Design. It is with regret that my daughter, Laura Hines Pierce, and I are unable to be there in person tonight, but many other members of the Hines family are there with you. Nearly 25 years ago in 1997, my grandfather began his long-running support of the college by making his first of several major gifts to the University of Houston, at which time the college was renamed in his honor. We lost him last year, just one week after his 95th birthday. He left quite a legacy in the built environment around the world, but there's something you might not know about him. Of the hundreds of projects the Heinz firm developed over the years, not one ever bore the Heinz name, but there were two times in his life and career that he did make important contributions to programs that ended up incorporating the name Gerald D. Heinz. So what was it that caused him to perhaps break that unwritten rule? Young people whom he saw as the future of innovation in architecture and design. Dad gave his name to the Gerald D. Hines College of Architecture and Design, and he also started the ULI Hines Student Competition with the Urban Land Institute, now entering its 20th year. His wish for both the college and the ULI event was to educate, encourage, and mentor the next generation of architects, developers, investors, and urban planners. I'm sure he would have been proud that U of H was among the top finalists of this year's ULI competition. Dad was a mechanical engineer by training, and he never stopped thinking in that mindset, which truly contributed to the global success of our firm. Opa, what I called my grandfather, truly had an inquisitive mind, and it was always such a pleasure for him to have the opportunity to spend time with students from the college. He might have been three to four times older than them, but he carried a sort of rock star status among them. And what seemed to make them click was his dedicated interest in their projects and designs. He would ask them tough questions and offer thoughtful suggestions. He encouraged them and reminded them that through quality architecture, they could change cities. I know some of his favorite experiences over the years were when he had the opportunity to accompany students and faculty from the college on some of their competition trips. In 2014, Dad traveled to the Venice Biennale, and that's the year the college won the Global Arts Affairs Foundation Prize for its exhibition. In 2017, he also joined students and faculty on a trip to Berlin. He was very proud to participate in the college's exhibition opening and symposium titled Houston Genetic City. Today, my grandfather's legacy lives on within the Heinz firm and our 4,800 employees through his focus on honesty, integrity, and quality. And through the Gerald D. Heinz College of Architecture and Design, we see those same principles. He always tried to impress upon students the importance of striving for excellence in architecture and design that they too had the power to improve the quality of life and the cities in which they would live and work. On behalf of Laura, the Heinz family, and the Heinz firm, our thanks to each of you for your support of the college this evening and the manner in which Dad's legacy lives on. The future of our industry is in good hands with these architects of tomorrow. Houston is our laboratory but through the study of Houston, we can uh, shine light on problems and uh, solutions that uh, are transferable to any city. And Mr. Hines recognized that right away and was very supportive. He believed that we were, we were doing the right thing, that for him, Houston had become the springboard to his international practice. and. It was our springboard too. Generally, the University of Houston was regarded more as a commuter university. And that is not the case today. And I think particularly for the College of Architecture and Design, it, the gift that Mr. Hines made to the college 
changed the game. It's quite an amazing thing for the school, you know. Uh, not that we don't have other colleges that get nice grants, especially now with the med school and so on, but at that time, architecture schools weren't drawing in those kinds of grants. I think it uh, is very significant that the universities had a, uh, a donor, a sponsor like Gerald Hines uh, to back the, the college. Um, I think that's a name that's well known in the industry, in construction and architecture throughout the country. And I think it probably gives uh, uh, great support and meaning to the, the college itself when, when uh, viewed by others in the, in, in the field. By that time in 1997, Mr. Hines was really on top of the on top of the, all the real estate development. So to have his name on the door meant that we have essentially gotten into the big leagues with uh, as far as uh, buildings were concerned. Mr. Hines' gift, or the Hines gift at the time, really allowed the college to focus on what it needed to do without the financial constraints and the worries of finding funding to, to make those goals uh, come to life. And in turn, that allowed the students just to focus on their scholarship and their design studies rather than worrying about where and how they could support their education. And for our faculty that supported their interests and their academic research as well as their design research. If we could have selected someone for an endowment, which of course you don't, you don't do, but if we could have selected, I doubt we could have found anyone better to associate with. I mean, Gerald Hines started his business in Houston from scratch based on quality and based on good design. Uh, to be associated with uh, such an amazing global brand, uh, the Heinz are, you know, our era's Rockefellers, Carnegie's. And so uh, to have the College of Architecture and Design associated with, uh, with Heinz, a name that is developing uh, amazing icons of architecture across the globe, uh, that is incredibly positive. I, I think Jerry's name and all he stood for probably had a lot to do in, in helping the college, but um, I think one of the most important things was his physical connection to the students themselves. He would go to design competitions and get excited um, and, and his passion for the university and the goals he had for the university, he was very vocal about. Being with those students, encouraging those students to excel and to follow their dreams um, was, was important and I think it was contagious. I think people saw that and it resonated with them and, and they got behind the university. For someone who has attached his name to a college, you really want that donor, that, that patron, uh, to represent a core value of what the college is about. And that seeking, that curiosity, that innovation, uh, those are qualities and, and uh, goals that you want the college to promote. Towards the end of my graduation, I uh, was fortunate to be uh, the recipient of the uh, Barcelona internship. The Barcelona internship is an opportunity through the University of Houston that's supported by, uh, by Heinz at the office of Enrique Marias in, in Barcelona. I think that was the first time I was able to really kind of jump scale, uh, and that was probably the biggest kind of impact for me, where uh, in my undergraduate years, um, we were often looking at more building and site related concepts and at Mariah's we're looking at more cultural site urban uh, problems that were a completely new way of, of looking at, at design. We could not be a college that was confined to the city that it resides in. We needed to bring the story of Houston to the world as well. And uh, the story of the University of Houston and the college, the Heinz College of Architecture and Design uh, needed to be in that world. Our students needed to be global citizens uh, so they could live and work anywhere. Through Mr. Heinz's many gifts to the college, our students have also been able to explore and expand uh, their development beyond Houston. Through the Heinz internship in Barcelona, Spain, they have 
really reached out into international spheres and grown individually as well as professionally. You broaden your horizons so much. Like you learn about things that you don't know and you get to know so many um, inspirational people. You hear testimonies, you hear other people's stories and you realize that you can be like them one day and that your story can imp impact somebody else later on. Gerald Hines had a real understanding of the value of architecture. He stepped out before anyone else I can think of to incorporate quality architecture into his projects because he realized how valuable that was at the end of the day. Uh, Houston didn't even exist in anyone's mind until he started building and the kinds of buildings he built transformed downtown here, but transformed downtowns everywhere. He changed high-rise building. He changed by uh, taking risks. Uh, he employed top architects. In recent years, they've hired some really talented people. The administrators, the professors are top-notch. I think part of that may come from Gerald Hines, the credibility he brought to it and the enthusiasm he brought to it. But I will tell you, they have made a huge difference and that college today is one of the top architectural schools in this country. The college, uh, our architecture program is so much better now than it was 30 years ago. The program has really grown. It is much more recognized around the country. I always think about what is the college going to be like in 10 years, five, you know, 15, 25 years. And it is growing. It has changed in, since I was a student there. And it's changed in wonderful ways. Um, I would like for the College of Architecture to continue to be accessible and, and tangible to uh, students like myself back then, um, who didn't quite have the means, didn't quite have such a clear path. And, uh, and, I, and I would like for the university and the college to maintain that sort of accessibility to the community. The caliber of people that, that work for and with the Heinz organization are top drawer. And so I, I know that his ambition for the college would be the same because that's the sort of person he was. Thank goodness he felt that affinity to the University of Houston and he saw the potential for the University of Houston.